most important initial step for success in your liquid de-icing program is having a quality and reliable source for salt brine. While you could certainly purchase the salt brine from a supplier, we found with most of our contractor partners that the return on investment is extremely fast by investing in a brine making system. When investing in a brine making system, there are some key features that are extremely important to look for. First and foremost, we need a system that can mix quickly and efficiently and mix to the 23.3% eutectic point every single time. Without the ability to mix quickly into that consistency, your brine program is destined for failure. Another key feature is the ability to pump out your finished brine to your storage tanks. The batch size on a brine maker is typically not large enough to support a company operations needs for an entire snow event, so we wanna have that excess reserve stored separately from the brine making system. You wanna look for a system that not only has the ability to pump the finished brine out, but also to draw that brine back in as well as to inject additive in that brine to make brine blends to apply to your customer's lots. We also want to be aware of the ability to scale this system. What we found with our customers is that they have great success with liquids. Shortly after installing their brine making system, they are expanding it. So you wanna make sure the way that your tanks are set up and your plumbing is set up, that it's easily expandable so you can support your growth in the future. In terms of knowing how much brine storage to have, we use a simple rule. And that rule is to have two to three times your per event usage and storage at all times. The reason for this recommendation is so that if you get back-to-back -back snow events, you're not taxing your staff with having to mix brine when they're already working a lot of hours plowing snow. A typical starter setup for a brine making system is three 5,000 gallon tanks. Two of those tanks would be for bulk salt brine and one of those tanks would be for your brine additive. Having those plumbed into your brine making system will allow you to easily blend that brine and fill it back into your trucks when you're ready to use it. Another strategy that we like to use with our contractor partners is having remote refill stations. One of the great things about salt brine is that expanding your remote refill network is extremely easy and inexpensive. All you have to do is strategically select locations that are far away from home base where it would make sense for your staff to refill during a snow event. Set a 5,000 gallon storage tank on that site leave a two inch fill hose, and the sprayers can self fill themselves from there during a snow event. These tanks can then be refilled between snow events by a larger tanker truck. Again, utilizing those downtime hours between snow events. The last strategy that we've seen is for larger regional type snow contracting companies. These companies may like to have a higher number of small brine making operations with storage solutions. So instead of having that central hub with lots of storage where they distribute tanker trucks to refill remote refill locations, they'll actually have a larger number of smaller brine making plants with smaller tank farms that they can make brine on and refill from there. It basically accomplishes the same thing as the first method of having the central hub. You just have lots of smaller hubs scattered throughout your region. After your brine making system is set up, now it's time to look at your truck mounted spray systems. One of the first things to look for when shopping for liquid de-icing sprayer is a product line that has a full lineup that can cover all the way down from your sidewalks up to your CDL level trucks. Having a full lineup of products will make it easier to train your staff on one unit and have them understand how to use them all. Another important feature to look for is a sprayer that has the ability to cover the width at the proper speed to cover your properties in a reasonable amount of time. You should be selecting equipment that you can cover just as quickly with the liquid unit as you can with your salt spreading equipment. If you purchase liquid spraying equipment that only applies at half the speed of your salting equipment, your liquid program is more than likely not going to be efficient and no longer fit into your operation. Another extremely important feature to look for is speed-based rate control. So what speed-based rate control is, it's a system that has both a flow meter and a proportioning valve that allow you to adjust your rate based on your speed to always apply the right amount of product. Simply put, the operator inputs their desired gallons per acre and the system takes care of the rest. These type of dynamic systems will allow you to continue to grow as your liquid program grows. We also want to look for control systems that allow you to independently control your three boom lane sections. So a properly set up system should have a left, middle, and a right lane. Each of these should have their own valve so that they can be turned off separately from one another. So let's say you're driving through a parking lot in the middle of the night, you're spraying 30 feet wide, middle, left, and right, and you have an obstacle coming up on your left. You simply hit a button, turn off your left spray boom, avoid that obstacle, turn the boom back on and keep going. Likewise, the ability to independently control your boom sections allows you to spray sidewalks that are along the parking lot areas. This can save a substantial amount of sidewalk labor. Many commercial properties have sidewalks that span the entire front area of a parking lot. 
Not having to get out of the truck to apply brine to these is a major game changer. We also want to look for other contractor friendly features. Because VSI by Boss products were designed by contractors, we know what these features should look like. Number one, we want to have a hose reel. So for those times that we can't simply spray the sidewalks with our side boom, we simply unroll our hose reel, spray the stairs, spray the front entry areas, spray the longer sidewalks, electronically rewind those hose reels and get back to work. We also must have the ability to self-fill. We've talked about having those remote refill station tanks, but if we don't have a way to fill from those without having to have a separate trash pump on hand, that's not very efficient. So always look for a spray system that can self-refill with the onboard pump and motor. We also want to have the ability to pump our brine out. This will allow us to support our other fleet, such as our sidewalk equipment. So let's say we have a large CDL truck with a 1600 gallon sprayer, and we have a sidewalk rig with a 100 gallon tank. That 1600 gallon sprayer is already full and he's out spraying a parking lot. The sidewalk rig just emptied the rest of their brine, and now they have to go back to home base to refill. But in this case, they don't because these sprayers have the feature where the 1600 gallon tank can simply hook up a hose, use the onboard pump and pump into the 110 gallon sidewalk rig and they can both keep working. This creates a lot more efficiencies in your business. Sidewalk support units are a phenomenal entry point to using liquids. These units are designed to support your snow raider crews to help make sure your sidewalks can get completed as efficiently as possible. These units contain a hose reel and a refill station so that you can either apply directly to the sidewalk or refill your snow raiders so you can keep going on with your business. Walk behind sprayers also offer an efficient option for small sites. So since we're talking about setting up your remote refill station, storage solutions, and equipment for maximum efficiency, let's talk about some production rates. With the VSI by Boss Legacy Spray System, you could expect to cover a one acre lot in about four minutes at 80 gallons per acre post-treatment rate. This would only be at an average speed of four miles an hour, which may sound low. However, on a typical retail type lot, there's going to be a lot of pedestrian traffic, vehicular traffic, stop signs, turnarounds, etc. So that's why we're using that lower miles per hour rate. Would this work be done on like an industrial type site that's wide open? You could expect to be much faster than that. What this also means though, is that even on a cumbersome retail type lot, you could expect to cover three acres in just 12 minutes. What this means is that even with a thousand gallon spray system, you're looking at having an empty tank in only 50 minutes. And this really speaks to the importance of having proper planning for your remote refill stations and your routing. That drive and refill time will make or break your productivity. What we find with our clients is that the clients that spend the most time setting up their routes and their remote refill stations for maximum efficiency can push over 20 acres an hour of productivity with their VSI by Boss Legacy Spray Systems. Those that don't spend as much time with their planning, routing, and remote refill station setup they may only be in the 10 to 15 acre per hour range. Over the course of an entire season, this makes a huge difference. Labor costs, truck fuel costs, sprayer fuel costs, and just overall efficiency and the ability to grow your portfolio of accounts with less equipment. VSI by Boss liquid de-icing systems are extremely efficient to both own and maintain. This is because we only use the highest quality components and build them with fully stainless and poly construction. That and a lack of moving parts means that your only real maintenance is maintaining your engine to a high standard. Beyond that, if you simply keep the system clean between events and flush it out at the end of each season, it'll be good to go for the next year. One thing our contractor partners really like about our liquid de-icing systems is that between snow events, any residual liquid in those tanks can stay in the tanks. Unlike salting systems that have to be emptied out and cleaned out each time to avoid freezing, clogging, or other issues, Liquid de-icing systems are more efficient, operationally speaking. Liquid de-icing systems also tend to have almost double the service life of their salting counterparts. Again, this is simply because there's a lot less moving parts. In this video, we've talked about how to select and set up your brine making system for long-term success. We've also talked about how many storage tanks you need, where to place them, and how to set up remote refill stations for maximum efficiency. We've also covered truck-mounted sprayers and key features you need to look for to ensure efficiency during a snowstorm operation. We also talked about what kind of production rates you can expect from those spray systems based on efficient setups or less efficient setups. We also covered the great longevity and low maintenance intervals that liquid equipment brings. The combination of a good operator, remote refill stations, quality truck-mounted equipment, and efficient routing all will help take your liquid de-icing program to a whole new level. Continue watching this series to elevate your liquid IQ.